Hey guys, greetings from Washington. Yeah, I am back in DC. Uh, it is a gorgeous day, but I am in a big rush. I've got to get over to the African American History Museum. I've got to set up this tripod uh, preset for the vice president's speech. But before we do that, well, after we put up the tripod, before the speech, we're going to run around because it's a gorgeous day in DC. And I want to show you guys what DC is like when the sun's out. And this is the stage, and uh, it's got the same lattice work. It's on the outside of the building. Pretty cool. Okay, so we're down in the basement of the African American History Museum, and I don't need this. Yeah, we're gonna be walking around, so uh, I just checked out the spot. You'll see it in a bit. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah. The preset is sometimes necessary when it's really, really crowded. You can throw down a tripod and you like have your space, but today we're gonna be moving all over the place, uh, so I didn't really need a permanent location. Um, anyway, so. Let's go do something else for a couple hours. So in preparation for the vice president's visit, they have removed all the food trucks. They put up a big fence there, so no food trucks here at the African American History Museum. Okay, so we're out by the White House. You can see those tents going up down there at the White House. And there are many more tents and generators and things out here on the ellipse. It's because the Easter egg roll is coming Monday, Monday, Monday. The White House Easter egg roll will take place absolute chaos and they're setting up for that right now hey guys greetings from in front of the white house where i am late i've got to get over to the american african-american history museum in about 10 minutes so we have grabbed a bike <laughs> but it works there you can see the flowers up for easter around the fountain it's quite pretty oh someone in front of me trombone man is here again today and construction continues on that old area over there all right, but we've got mm, a couple blocks to go. It is now 2.41 and I have to check in by three o'clock. I could make it if I was walking, but I'd be really sweaty. And it's about 84 degrees today or something like that. So, oh, guitar man's here. Yeah, he's rocking out. Oh, these are new. They put in big cement things here. I thought they used to just have, like, sticks. I can't remember, to be honest. Okay, end of this road. That's the museum. That's our check-in. No time for a hot dog. Maybe later. That's the Mayflower Hotel. There was a scene in Godfather 2 film there. Yesterday I showed you the steps of the Supreme Court in New York where they filmed the scene from The Godfather 1. And today I'm showing you the Hotel Washington where there was an exterior shot. That was the whole Michael, it wasn't a miscarriage. That whole thing took place ostensibly inside there, but probably in a sound stage in California. All right, let's keep moving. It's an honor and a pleasure to join Vice President Harris here today on the heels of her historic trip to Ghana, Tanzania, and Zambia, which did so much to advance our growing partnership with the continent. experiences moving from country to country during this epic challenge. And with that, I am pleased to introduce Vice President Kamala Harris. Thank you for the invitation, and I'm super excited. 
to talk about what we learned on the continent about your roles for the continent um, in partnership with the United States. So let's roll into it. This trip to the continent of Africa was very much in line with that approach, but with an incredible sense of um, optimism about what is happening in the continent. The median age on the continent of, the, of Africa is 19. By 2050, one in four people occupying space on Mother Earth will be on the continent of Africa. Think about what that means in terms of the opportunity, in terms of the future, in terms of the obvious fact, I believe, as evidenced by the demographics I've just shared, which is that what happens on that continent will impact the entire globe. Not to mention what is the intertwined history that we have and share with the continent. Um, taking us through the various dungeons um, the section for men, the section for women, the section for the troublemakers, where pregnant women were kept because they had been raped. Um, the details of the fact that women were being raped by their captors and then the baby taken away on the day she gave birth so she could be sold, the mother. And then if the baby lived, would be put to work in that very place. The, the, the role of the United States of America in terms of our own, much less global, security and prosperity. Let us have an interest in uplifting it. If we had any level of excitement at all about the future and what that could look like based on what we do right now. That's what I would ask that we all take away from this moment and, and from our level of of, of interest and exploration about all of these in terms of the potential. It, it is great. And um, I'm very excited. And so we're just going to keep, you know, just doing this work every day. I had a bunch of meetings today about what we're doing by way of follow up. And um, I'm very excited about it. And thank you for hosting us again for this conversation. Thank you, Vice President. Thank you. Let's go Okay guys, back this time on a scooter. My electric bike disappeared. So that was the vice president speaking about her trip to Africa. At one point it seemed like she was almost almost welled up with tears when she was talking about the uh, slave castle, or what's about an infamous name for a dungeon uh, that was over there in West Africa. But uh, she gave an interesting kind of uplifting speech about the future of Africa. Anyway, let's uh, head back up by the White House. See what's going on. Excuse me. Hmm, police car. Maybe her motor came came back through here. Annoying scooter. There's the White House guys. It's the scooter beeping that it doesn't like to be here. We're almost halfway across. 
see who's here today. The Jehovah Witnesses, Truth Conductor. He was in New York yesterday. Some Ukrainians. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just ran through a photo. You know, this beeper does kind of work like a bell, though. Okay, guys, so a pretty quiet Wednesday back in D.C. Listen, tomorrow, Thursday, we've got Marine 2 leaving. Marine 1 will be leaving. I probably won't be able to film Marine 1. I've got other commitments. And, uh, well, we're going to go out and enjoy the weather a lot more than we did today. Today just got a little crazy. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.